Hey there everybody, this is Kortoth again. Um, as you can see, we're playing a new game today. Uh, I will tell you the name of the game when it gets here. Now, this intro is actually somewhat important as far as the story goes, so you will watch it. After a glorious wedding, Master Higgins and his pretty wife Tina were on their way to a romantic honeymoon. Of course, we all know how this is going to end up. Dark sky is lightning. This is no good. Higgins looks really kind of scared right there. Oh, crazy flashy blue sky. Ah. I guess I should have warned you about that. There's kind of a seizure warning here. This might mess you up in what appears to be a giant wave. Let's see how. But from out of nowhere, a tropical cyclone broke through the seas and ripped the newlyweds apart. Oh no! Now oh, it's Tina. Tina survived, but lay dazed on the island of Waku Waku. Her memory had completely vanished. Yes, apparently she has amnesia. <laughs> I always like to say Master Higgins. It's just awesome. Master Higgins had an equally rough time being bounced around and drifting aimlessly before finally landing on a deserted island. Master lost his memory as well, his vision of Tina all but a grain of sand on the vast beach before him. But. Being a great warrior, he set out to recover his past. Yeah, great warrior. Mm -hmm. uh, some of you probably know what game this is by now, but... We'll hold off. Let's see. Tina was found and came to live on the island of Waku Waku. The good king there soon fell in love with her. And they decided... Go figure. To Mary. Big ass bird. But trouble was in the air. Just as the king was about to slip on the ring. From towering heights came a beastly buzzard. Swooping down, he stole Tina from the altar and carried her off. Who knew? Hey, it's Master Higgins. I like his hat. He's always wearing a red ball cap. It's kind of funny. Anyway, while Master Higgins was passing the castle, he heard the screaming Tina not recognizing the voice of his lost fair maiden. Yeah. Super Adventure Island 2, yep. That's what we're playing. Uh, you're probably thinking, wait, 2, what happened to the first one? Well, <laughs> it's a different game altogether. It's more of you know, one of those linear things where you just go from level to level, kind of like a Sonic type game. Um, Except you have no way to like protect yourself, you get hit and you die. You have lives and certain continues, it's kinda of difficult. Um, I've beaten it with <laughs> let's just say heavy use of save states. Um, and I would I'm gonna try to see if I can get it well enough that I can make it, you know, a minor use of save states to play it before I attempt to let's play it. Um, in any case it probably will happen at some point. But for now, this is in my opinion much more fun game. Super Adventure Island 2. I don't care about sound, start adventure, adventure file one. I have no idea how long I've been recording. This is not a good thing. Hold on just one second for me. Okay, no idea if you saw that, but that gives me a good estimate. So we're in here. Um, our buttons are B to jump. A doesn't do anything at the moment. X, I believe that is, goes to a menu, and you can use X or A to navigate your menu um, the way. 
and then return takes you out, save saves, and then you can only save on the world map, and possibly in here. But, uh, and Y punches. L and R don't apparently do anything, and they do start and select. But, so we're here and up to talk to the king, apparently. Ah, the famous Master Higgins. We've met just in the nick of time. I desperately need your help. And, uh, I'm holding A button down to make it scroll faster, because it's really freaking slow otherwise, like in the intro. But, uh, and A advances. My country used to hold six islands, excluding this one, Waku Waku Island. Now, an evil force looms large, threatening our very lives. Today was my wedding ceremony, and a monster of outrageous brutality swooped down and stole my queen to be. The princess is likely held in Poka Poka Isle to the southwest of here. Now, move it. I'd like to come, but I'm committed to defending the castle. Yeah, sure. Of course you'd like to come. Master Higgins, take these 100 coins for an arduous journey ahead. That's a very small amount of coins, as you'll find out. Um, later, we'll figure out. This is uh, an inn. This is where you fill all your health. As you'll find out later, it's kind of useless, but it's here. Um, our inn has reputation for inducing wondrous dreams. That'll be 10 coins. Can you afford such luxury? Yes, 10 times over. But, I don't need to. You ha now have 100 coins. A, yes, B, no. No, I'm good. Thank you, sir. We hope to see you again. Yeah, sure. Goodbye. Just run out the side. Now, here's our big main uh, fun thing. Sir, our overworld. Uh, there are a couple things in here. One of these things is the barriers. We will come to this later, but there's, you know, lightning. Um, light, I think, is actually what it's defined as in the game. I always call it lightning. But uh, we'll get back to that. This is right now the only way we can go to do anything. This is Fua Fua Island down there, which, uh, spoiler alert, is the last island we'll be going to. And this happens, what I like to call random encounters. Uh, they're really short in the overworld. The, uh, they're kind of useless. I mean, you can get, you know, potions, and, like health. You get health back and monies and whatnot. Uh, before we go to that world pool and actually enter Pokopoka Island proper, I'm going to show you this because it's of minor importance later in the game. I remember the first time I came in here first playing through this, I had no freaking clue what this, these puddles were. I didn't even figure it out until very late in the game. <coughs> but uh, it turns out these heal you. If you, you know, you don't have full health, you just go stand in a puddle like that. Any room that's just a room with a puddle, that puddle will heal you. Uh, there you go. There's, so there's one right there. Um, and because of those, it, actually that end becomes kind of pointless. You can just roam over to one of the puddles and heal. Like, it does get to the point where you have a ton of health, comparatively. But, uh, so the only things that become any sort of issue are bosses in the end game, really and truly. Even in the mid game, for that matter. Oh, come back here, you. Yeah, so I have to take damage as well, hard up there in the top left corner. Uh, and the little fist things, because that's the only weapon I have right now, are my fists. Uh, we'll get to this later. Right, so, it shows you what weapon you've got. Anything else will be apparent on your character, anything else you can equip. Um, these things are like little plaques. You can hit up and read them. Uh, it says, break the rock to open the gate and swim beyond. Okay, fair enough. I'll show you what that is in just a second. Uh, I don't really need to read any of them anymore, because, you know, I have played the game through and everything. But I'll, I'll read them for you guys' to sake. How much time do I have? Plenty. Um, I'll come up here real quick to show you. You can't swim underwater in this game. You can swim on top, but not under, so you have fish jump. So you can't get under there quite yet. That's what it's talking about. Break the rock so you can drain that and get through. Uh, actually, that's not the exact reason to be breaking the rock, but, you know, you'll see. I don't hear these really poly idiots are annoying, because until you have a, a weapon they, that you can reach to them, they'll roll at you and hit you almost every time, unless you just avoid like I did. Anyway, this is a big important part here. There are five switches. Moon, Star, Sun, Aqua, and Light. I Light, I'm pretty sure is Lightning, and Aqua I just call Raindrops, is what it looks like, but anyway. Um, they can be found on all islands except Waku Waku, where the king is, and Fua Fua, that last one. Stand on the switch and then squat down to turn it on or off. That could be kinda dirty. Yeah, I'll show you in a minute. Um, while the crystal shines, the blocks with the same symbol solidify. You can see a perfect example of that right here. If you notice where I went in, we have this is our, our light, or as I call it, lightning switch. And see these blocks are now solid. This allows us to do is go over here. 
And uh, this level is really probably longer than I'm, I'm making it look, just because I know exactly where to go and what to get, and I know what all you can get at this point in time. Oh, I actually got there with my fist. I didn't have them often. I used to get hit by these guys. The, uh, you can actually hear these. You can hear these guys coming. And the pigs, they don't do shit. They just kind of sit there. Silver sword. Yay! And we can go to our weapons. So we have fist and now silver sword. And you can tell there's going to be a lot of them. Um, you will fill up basically the entire two rows. Same with, uh, let's see, the armor. I think it's just one row. About the shield. Yeah, one row. Uh, magic. Any quick? Can we do magic yet? Oh, that's right. You have to get something anyway. Equipment we'll use later. These guys turn around. These are these flying things like this are some of the most annoying enemies in the game, in my opinion. Like shit in later levels, they'd have more complicated patterns. They'll move around, but most of them are, are more easily predictable. They don't start over your head. You almost you know, like that one. You pretty much have to jump to get to. Not let it come all the way down. You'd be annoying. I'll go this way first. Thank you. I need health. I can also tell potions when I'm full on health and none otherwise. As you can see, now I'm hitting harder because I'm one-shotting these guys with my sword. Same with these guys. Things respawn, as you'll see in a minute when I go back. So, this is interesting. Uh, this is actually a tunnel to another island. There is at least one on every island, as far as I'm aware. And I believe, uh, I haven't tested this, but I believe that you can get from any island to any other island just by those tunnels. That's uh, really kind of pointless because of a spell you get fairly early on that basically lets you quick travel on the world map. So, <laughs> that's just the easy way to do it. Um, I'll go up because there's a chest up here I want to get. Oh shit, I forgot to break the rock. Well, darn. Yeah, the, the, the trick here is, is you come over here and you realize you can't, can't even get through that way uh, until you get the sword. You need the sword to break the rock. I forget how you're learning. I don't know. It may say something about that if you come here without the sword. There's something that tells you that. But anyway, before you go that way, I'm gonna go up here because if you remember the uh, now the fishies are out of water and they're impotent. This sucker. This is a life bottle. There are nine of these in chests and one of them that you buy from a vendor. Uh, that for ten total, that's for five extra hearts. So I think you end up with six total hearts up there and it's in the top left. And you see now that I have the sword to the little icon. Also, I have one and a half hearts. Uh, something like that. So. That's not all that you can get in chests, so I'll show you more. Um, you can get money, just just money out of chests. You can also get these all swords, you get your armor and shields out of chests, with the exclusion of, of one set of stuff. Uh, you can't ever make it up there. You, you can get to the other side eventually, but uh, no, you have to go through here coming from that direction, which is fine. These fish will jump just like that. They're annoying as hell. Come on, let me up the... Thank you. Fine. Die. These springs are interesting. I'll give you a little quick demo here. Yeah, I can't get up there until we get the moon switch. Uh, these have three bounce levels. One, two, and three. And then they repeat. See, one, two. So you have to know to wait for the higher bounce. It took me a little while to learn that. We'll deal with these blocks later. Can't do anything at the moment. Three. And uh, up here... Barely made that. Is more healing pond. I don't need it. Just showing it off. These... Oh, come on. That was dumb. To see use of the healing pond after all. Do -do -do, heal me up. It's pretty quick, actually. Even when you have all six of your hearts, it goes pretty quick. You don't need the third bounce on these. I don't know why I did that. You only need two. He has amazing air control, apparently. <laughs> and, uh, pig. Going up. Shit. Can't get up there quite yet. Can't get over here quite yet, so. That's the sun blocks, I believe they are. Those are a little bit later on. I'll go this way. More of these guys. That's magic potion. I hadn't mentioned that yet. I would say we will eventually get spells of some sort. Most of them I don't ever use in levels because they're not that useful. This thing will come into use later. Much, much later. It's uh, something we use in there. For now, just know that it's only useful much later. Uh, if you're sharp enough, you can kind of see the ground under me right here and above me as a whole. So you can kind of figure out what's going to happen when I use this. But anyway, um, die. I'll stop it here as I'm very low on time. Um, I still can't upload videos over 15 minutes. You know, whatever. But uh, this has been Kortoth playing Adventure Island 2. Um, hope you enjoy it. Hope you stick around for the rest of it. I promise it gets better and more interesting. <laughs> See you guys next time.